before you grab that box of cereal this morning, you might want to check the label. A new study says glyphosate, and you can look on your nutritional label there or ingredient label, a chemical in weed killer has been found in popular cereals like Lucky Charms and Quaker Oats. Now, there is an ongoing debate on whether these, this ingredient has the ability to cause cancer, and here to talk about this is nutritionist Shelly Dine. And welcome, Shelly. I Thank you. We, this story came out last week, and I instantly said, I'm a mom. I <laughs> feed my kids Cheerios. A lot of moms do. I feed my kids Lucky Charms, even instant Quaker oats, and mm -hmm. I freaked out, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to bring you on um, because we just had the lawyer on who brought the case against Monsanto and right. the weed killer, which is Roundup weed killer. Right. But they said that is used on the farms mm -hmm. that create oats and wheat. Mm -hmm. In turn, it transfers into the products we eat and the cereals we eat. Right. So moms at home who are drinking their coffee mm -hmm. and their little babies in their high chair eating Cheerios, <laughs> what do we do? So it's interesting because you can see all the cereals that are here, Cheerios and Lucky Charms and Nature Valley granola bars. And you see the study, and it freaks us all out because most of it, most of us have it in our pantries or in our kitchens. But it's interesting because a toxology report came out that said one in a million, you have a one in a million chance of getting cancer over time with eating these types of products. So one in a million think, okay, that's not a lot. Mm -hmm. However, it's one serving a day. And one serving, most of us are not having one serving. So for example, if you're eating Cheerios and you're pour pouring that cereal in your bowl, one serving is considered one cup. And most of us are having two to three cups. Well, I bring a bag of Cheerios in my bag and my diaper bag when I have my baby who's teething. <laughs> right. Right. So most of us aren't measuring that out. So if you're having more than one serving a day, I would really try to cut that back to even having it twice a week or once a week. Can I just ask you a question? I'm sure. going to look at this label. I didn't even look this weekend. Does it say it right on here like glyphosate? Is that what I'm looking for it on does, these products? Unfortunately, it does not have glyphosate in the ingredients. Glyphosate, excuse me. Yes, it doesn't have it in the ingredients. So it's a matter of going online and looking and seeing what is the recommended dose? Because according to the Environmental Working Group, anything in excess of 160 parts per billion is considered unhealthy. So in California, if something has excess, it has to have a warning. The Ca California Prop 65 says it has to have a warning label that says this may cause cancer. Yes. Okay. So yes. Um, nutritionist, would you feed your kids this stuff? I would on occasion, so I would say once a week, twice a week to have it is okay. So make it as a treat. There's so many more healthy breakfast options that you can choose from with the exception of having these products. Okay, what are my healthy options then? So your healthy options could be, there's some other brands like Kind mm -hmm. um, has pretty good. They show that there's actually lower than 160 parts per billion. There's eggs, which are great, the best breakfast food you can have. There's mm -hmm. Barber's Puffins, mm -hmm. which Barber's was not a great cereal to have. However, the Puffin cereal was actually a great cereal to have. Um, anything from Whole Foods is a better option if you're concerned about your children and the safety of your children's food. Even their conventional brands have been great. Well, what if something says organic on it? So anything organic is they have shown there have been some traces of glyphosate, but much lower to the recommended dose. Okay. So you're fine if it says organic. Okay. So I, we're going to just have, a, you know, um, Kellogg and General Mills both put out statements about, because mm -hmm. a lot of people's, I put this on Instagram, people instantly got so scared. General Mills released a statement saying, our products are safe and without question, they meet regulatory safety levels. The EPA has researched this issue and has set rules that we follow. Kellogg, who makes a lot of cereals mm -hmm. and everything we eat, also responded saying, our food is safe. EPA EPA sets strict standards for safe levels of these agriculture residues, and the ingredients we purchase from suppliers for our foods fall under these limits. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have this under our belts. But then last week, another scare came about about arson, arsenic mm -hmm. in baby food, like baby squeezers. Mm -hmm. How many baby squeezers have I given my kids? How many moms and dads? Yes. It's the instant go-to. Right. What, what, what? I don't even know what to say. Right. Like, what should we look for in our products like that? So what you should look for is try to give your babies whole foods meaning give them the actual fruit or the bananas or the avocado or give them whole foods. In terms of rice, try not to buy the packaged rice. Like try rice cereal? Or correct. Rice. Okay. So try to buy rice. They have shown that basmati rice and sushi rice are the best options. Okay. I'm going to be a realist here. Yes. Those grab and goes, those puffs and everything, those are easy. Yes. And so, I mean, most moms, working moms, any mom or dad don't, doesn't have time to maybe buy or doesn't have money. 
right. to buy these, you know, fresh fruits and stuff like that. These are the easy alternative, and you think you're giving your kids something healthy. Right. So it's very easy to go to the market and buy avocados and bananas and mash them up and prep them before. So if you're a working mom, a working dad, that you are able to prep these ahead of time. So prep them before you're going to work and then have them ready. And in terms of the rice, it's very easy to make rice, and it's about the prep of the rice. So it's a lot of water. Make sure you're draining it well. So not instant rice, like instant, you know, minute rice or anything like that that has could have levels or traces of ar arsenic in it. Which right. It sounds so scary that we say arsenic. Yes, very it's, scary. It sounds like it's a it's a death sentence. Right. So, um, it, in terms of all this stuff. Should we be overly, overly concerned or freaked out? So I say everything in moderation. It's not something to be completely freaked out about, but I think it's really important to have an idea and be mindful of these products and what's on the market. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I mean, I thank put my so mind at ease. I, I just guarantee a lot of people out there instantly heard this story last week, were scared and, and um, very, you know, freaked out about it, for lack yes. of a better word. Yes. All right, we got more information on our website, foxla.com, um, and hopefully help you out and, and sit through all this stuff.